This week, the focus is on using different special types of layers. I'm going to begin by creating a new file. I always select ActionScript 3. And I want to import an image to the stage to be my background image. To import an image to the stage, I will select File, Import, Import to Stage. I'm going to select from the desktop a picture that I already downloaded. It's a little bit bigger than the stage, so I am going to use my free transform tool. Select my image and hold the shift key so it stays proportional and resize it. I don't mind if it's a little bit bigger than the stage, but I don't want it hugely bigger. We're going to use masking for the first exercise. And now to make it fit, I'll select the stage, I'll select properties, I'll select the size option for the stage, I will edit the size, and then I will match the contents, and I'll hit OK. Now my stage my background are the same size. I'll name the layer Sheep and I will lock it. My next layer is going to allow me to create a masking effect. The effect that I'm looking for is like a flashlight lighting up an area. So I'm going to name this layer mask and I'm going to draw a circle using the oval tool. If I hold the shift key down, let me make this a really bright color. This won't be visible so make it as bright as you want so it's easier to work with. If I hold the shift key down that makes it a true circle and then I can double click it by selecting the black arrow tool, your selection tool. Double click selects both the center and the outer part of the circle. Right click, convert to symbol. You can also use F8. I'm going to create a graphic symbol. I'm going to name it GR Circle. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I want this to persist for about three seconds. So I'm going to put a keyframe in at frame 72. You can either hit F6 or right click and insert keyframe. The sheep layer I don't need to do anything with, it's just going to sit there as my background layer. In the mask layer, I'm going to click on mask and then I'm going to select mask from the options. That changes it so this layer will be masking the sheep layer. Now I actually want this to be a flashlight effect, so I'm going to set the stage background to black. And you'll notice that once I apply the masking, it automatically locks my layer, which makes the masking visible. If I were to unlock my layer, you can just see my symbol. And I'm going to leave it unlocked for a moment. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to choose to create a classic tween and I'm going to click at various spots in here and just move my circle. By creating the classic tween first, if I click and then move, it automatically puts in a keyframe for me. So I'm replicating the effect of a flashlight lighting up an area. Now I'm going to test this. I can test this by hitting Command Enter or Command Return. And you have basically a flashlight effect. A mask will reveal what's underneath it and you can have as many layers as you want stacked under the mask. 
So it can just mask one item or it can mask everything. This is one effect that you can create using a mask.